You just reminded me of something, guys. You know what? You've actually just reminded me of a dream I had last night, and I'm not even kidding. Now, it's just coming to me in patches right now. But I actually had a dream of a football game last night. I couldn't tell you what the game was. It wasn't necessarily Bournemouth versus Manchester United. But, you know, I did literally have a dream last night that there was a game that I was watching that finished 3-2. That's weird, isn't it? Honestly, I'm not even kidding. Last night I had a dream watching a game. Can't remember what the game is now. It must be this one. <laughs> anyway, come on, United. It's about to kick off. But I'm still going for 3-1. But my dream said 3-2. Seriously. My dream said 3-2. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bournemouth has fucking had that. That's, oh, my goodness me. No. Four minutes 30. They fucking pumped us. We're almost done. And we are losing the bloody game against the Cherries now. What? We're supposed to be making fucking cherry pie of them in this game, but they're making popped cherries out of these fucking cherry melts. So far, they've broken our bloody tooth off with the bloody, bloody cherry fucking pip, mate. It's an awful start for United here in the end because Solanke has just bucked it in the back of the fucking net and given Bournemouth the lead. Look at this shot. It's a mistake at the back from the past hour. It's shocking stuff. McTominay can't control it. McTominay with the fucking club foot on the go there. Oh my goodness me. Look at him there. Look at him. Oh, my goodness me. And Maggie can't fucking follow it in. Oh, they're back to their best, aren't they? Slabby and Mags. Slabby and McTominay back to their fucking best, mate. It's like that movie Carry On Screaming, if you've ever seen it. With Odd Bod and Odd Bod Bloody Junior. That's what it seems like to me. Frying tonight. We're getting bloody undone at the start of this one by Bournemouth. It's 1-0. We've been done. We've been done. We've been done. We've been done. It's Gash. Come on then, boys. Get back into this. It's early doors. I did predict 3-1. I thought we'd concede today. You know why? Because we're bloody Gash, really. We should still have enough to beat Bournemouth over the course of the 90 minutes. Of course we should. Fucking come on now, United. Matty Smith's been a member for nine months. He says Ten Hag needs to go if we don't get a win today. <sighs> Little bit knee-jerk, isn't it? Little bit knee-jerk. I mean, it is a major concern if you can't beat Bournemouth at home. But um, little bit knee-jerk, that lad. But no, we're not going to lose this game anyway. Everybody's talking about like we might lose this game. There's no fucking way that we lose this game. We will win this game. Oh, my God. Bournemouth are through again. They're going to have another chance here. Bournemouth coming at us. Oh, no. Great save, Andre Onana. No, they put in the rebound. No fucking way. It's two. No, the Bournemouth please be offside. It's offside. It's, it's got to be offside. It's got to be offside. Uh, yeah, it's offside. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, my God, though. This is pathetic. We are getting done. It was a nice ball in. Thankfully, it's just offside. Oh, my goodness me. Super, so many super different Tonys chat. I'd rather have. Luca Tony. You know, Tony's the last Tony. Tony Blair. Tony Blackburn. Tony Stark. <laughs> There's a lot of Tonys I'd rather have in the in the teams. What I'm saying than than that melt. Rasmus Hoyland, yes, he's coming on. Tony Martial, get off now. Get the fuck off, Tony Martial. And Tenag made the decision that he probably should have made at the start of the bloody game, which is to to have Rasmus on the pitch instead of Tony. Tony Braxton would be better off up top there, for fuck's sake. Luke Shaw with a sloppy pass gives the ball away. Now Solanke, who's been a thorn on our side all day, brings it forward for the. The Bournemouth down the left and, uh... Oh, no! They made it 2-0! You fucking have fucking laugh, man! What? Oh, no! I've accidentally fucking broken the whole fucking plate on the floor, mate! Bollocks, mate! It's gash, guys! What the fuck? They've made it 2-0! How has this happened? And Andre Onana again flapping away at it! Flapping and flapping and flapping away at it! Yeah, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do that, all right! Stop it! I'm sorry! I apologise, I knocked it with my knee, I didn't even mean to do it, alright! Fucking unbelievable! Being I'm being serious, should you shut the door please? I need oh. my own time. Look, United are just kissing, we're losing 2-0 to Bournemouth, Nicola! We're losing 2-0 to Bournemouth, Nicola, okay? That's good for Bournemouth, isn't it? No, it's not good for Bournemouth! But Joe, that plate was so good! Oh, just forget it, just sorry, alright, I'm shutting the door now. I've seen a bit, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, it's a fucking shit show, mate! We're fucking mugs! Andre Onada as well, a.k.a. Mr. Fucking Flappy Bird. Look at him get stunned. Sh Luke Shaw, you fucking free Bentos pie-loving fucking garden gnome, bro. He's got about as much use in that fucking jump up there trying to get the header away as a fucking training cone. What the fuck? Luke the training cone, Shaw, you melter. 
And then Andre Onana, the flappy bird in goal, sharting the fucking bed, can't get it on. It's 2-0 to Bournemouth, man! And I've got to do a fucking clean-up now after this game! I literally didn't mean to do that, guys. So I fucking plate on the side there, knocked it, man. Fucking knocked it. Come on, the United! We need to win! Never mind this fucking coming back to get two goals to get a bloody draw against Bournemouth at home, bro! What are we doing? What have we become? What have we become? Go on, Bruno, bang this! Bang this! We need a goal right now! Go on, Ancho! Oh. Months. Two months, a legend of the channel. Everybody get some love in there for JRE. Now it's a corner for Bournemouth here. Whipped in. No fucking way! No fucking way, bro! Are you fucking serious, mate? You've got to be fucking kidding me, Giza! What? What the fuck? It's 3 0 to Bournemouth! We've been smashed by a fucking provincial seaside town! What is happening? Shat on by the Brighton Seagulls! Pissed on by the fucking Bournemouth Jerrys! Oh my god! At least Bob the Regis aren't in the fucking Premier League, mate! Otherwise, we'd be losing a Bogner as well! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Three fucking nil! Three fucking nil! Against the Sherries! It's truly awful defending my United from the corner, Maguire, you statuesque fucking East Island brat! Oh, and he's back to fucking slap of the month! Never mind, bro of the month! He's back to fucking slap of the month, mate! The whole team! Turn it up like a fucking bunch of rice puddings today, mate! 3-0 to Bournemouth, I don't believe what I'm seeing! At home, at Old Trafford, how we just beat Chelsea? This is unacceptable! I've seen some piss poor defended by United. I've been embarrassed and I felt fucking absolutely distraught at some of the United results and performances in my lifetime. I don't think anything competes with fucking this one though. 4 0 against the fucking Cherry Fuckers. What are we doing? 4 0 at home against the Cherries. 4 0 against Bournemouth. 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 Bournemouth! Bournemouth are beating us 4-0! Bournemouth! The goal's disallowed. The goal's been disallowed, thank fuck for that. I've lost my voice now as well. And there's the final whistle. United have been pumped and done by Bournemouth. It's 3-0 to the Jerry's at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag, wobble that fucking bald head in disgust, you melt. What the fuck are you doing? Overseeing a complete melt fest against the Cherries at home. These players, each single, every single one of these fucking players I've had enough of now. If we're being brutally, totally fucking honest now, these guys can't come to Old Trafford like this after the Chelsea game and play like that. If we're being honest, all of these players need to just fuck off out of our football club immediately now. Just piss off every single one of you, you greedy, money-grabbing bastards. Tony Marshall on 200 grand a week. What? It's a fucking disgrace. It's a disgrace. £200,000 a week to perform like a fucking complete sharp bag. I've had enough. All of these players, in fact, a lot of these players are not good enough for Manchester United standards, are they? If we could burn it down and restart again and rebuild from, from scratch, that would probably be the better option than trying to stick with any of these fucking fuckbags. Seriously. 
If we could burn it down and start again, I would. This team's a disgrace. Only problem is we can't get rid of these players because we're stuck with them. We're stuck with them. We give them massive contracts. We pay them fortunes to be shit for us. We reward mediocrity at this football club. That's what we do. That's what we do. You'll probably find out that the Glazers have given Eric Tenard a seven-year contract after tonight's fucking game. We reward mediocrity of this football club and always fucking have done under Glazer tenureship. It's an awful run football club. No wonder the standards are so shit these days and we're such a gas bag of a team. The standards at Manchester United have slipped eternally. Slipped since the days of Sir Alex Ferguson in every possible way. The players are bottle jobs. The hierarchy of the football club are fucking sharp bag financier wanky fucking banker twats who don't know piss all about football running a football club. They brought everything into distribute. They brought the fucking wage structure into distribute. They ruined the fucking setting. They ruined the fucking football club. They've ruined us. We are nothing anymore. We're a shell of a fucking team. We should be Manchester United beating dispatching at Bournemouth at home easily. Easily like swatting a fucking fly away. In the end, we're the fucking piece of shit that they've come and laid their bloody maggots in. We are awful. They've easily done us today. Easily done us today. Easily. 3-0 destructions. Could have been 4-0 destructions by Bournemouth there. I'm just trying to contemplate this. I'm trying to, trying, to, trying to contemplate what's gone so wrong. That this football club, that this isn't an overnight thing. Everyone will be saying, blame it all on Eric Ten Hag. It's not an overnight thing. This has happened for years. This is a deterioration at this football club. This is a deterioration. You know, like when you're an old man or an old woman or whatever. You don't get Alzheimer's disease overnight. You fucking develop it over a period of time. And unfortunately, United are in the throes of dementia right now. We're a demented football club. We don't have the ability to perform. We don't have the ability to consistently turn up and get the results that we expect. The players are shit. The coaches are shit. The owners are shit. Everything about us right now defines the word shit. We're shit. It just has to be said. We've got to realise that. There's no point pretending we're actually good. Games like the Chelsea game just paper, paper over the cracks, don't they? We come up against another shit team, an even shitter team than us, and outshitted them. Got outshitted by them. On this occasion, though, any sort of half-decent side who turns up the bit between their teeth prepared to fight for it, they can beat us because we don't have a set of warriors out there or big bollock cojones individuals. Super no, we've got these sorts of guys who just... Go through the motions out there. Tony Marcio, oh, I better not break a fingernail. I'm on £200,000 a week regardless of how good I play, whether I'm shit or not. So might as well play shit then. That's how I feel. Where's this fucking mentality of these players? No, I'm going to go out there and win this game. I'm going to be the fucking best footballer that I can be. Never mind Manchester United for a second. Why aren't these players playing for their fucking selves? Why aren't they playing for their careers? Why are they playing for the love of the game? What are they playing for? Just for money? That's what it looks like. They don't give a shit. And they get that money regardless of how well they play or not. We're a joke. The team's a joke. The players are a joke. The manager's a joke. The owners are a joke. Everything's a fucking joke. Might as well change our name to Circus United. Do I trust Eric Tenag again? What, to go and dip into the transfer window? The guy spent 85 million on a fidget spinner, man. Do I expect it? He spent 50 million on a flappy bird in the goal. And I let David De Gea go. Do I trust him? No, I don't fucking trust him, mate. I wouldn't trust him to go down to Tesco's and get a fucking three pound meal deal in. I'd expect him to come back with the chicken bacon and stuffing, the fucking fruit smoothie and the packet of fucking Walker's Max Crips. But I bet you that fucking ball bastard would come out with a fucking just ham sandwich, a bottle of water and a fucking fruit bag.